one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And I actually came out here today. I did a walk around yesterday of that chunk over there. All those cars, you can't even see them. It's too dark. But I didn't know which way to go because I'm going to do it and break it up into three parts. There's a lot of cars. I think I'm just going to go straight out to the front here and then come back through this stuff. And that means I'm going to take and go through all these. Give you a real quick look at them. I do daily videos and I'll tell you what, the cars out here, some of them are awesome. Hi! Lily's here. Some of the cars here are just fantabulisco. But a lot of the cars here are not fantabulisco. Some of them are just like parts cars. And that's okay because even a parts car is a good car. There's money in that crap, I'm telling you. I got a lot of cars. And I'm gonna put this one at the beginning of the video to where you can see it. I do daily videos, so you're gonna wanna watch on, watch the ones from yesterday, because I just put up 40 in that one, there'll be 30 or 40 in this one, and another one tomorrow, another. I got some special stuff coming up this weekend that I think is kinda cool. But, bam! This truck has 8,000 original miles. And you know, I've shown this in a walk around here, like in my daily vlogs, so if you've already seen it, you don't wanna see what I'm gonna say on this one, skip it, because I'm doing all these other ones, and the rarest of all, the 50th anniversary Trans Am. Yeah, buddy. I may have rarer ones on this here place, but this is a nice, nice truck. This is the real, there's like two areas where you got this, and there was, where was it? A teensy bit right there, starting. And was the other side have a little? Starting in the tailgate, right at the bottom. Got a dent in the tailgate, I to push that out. And it's starting just right around here a little bit. Other than that, oh, that's the part right there. Right there. And the bottom of that filler panel going along there. Easy fix. But this truck has 8,000 original miles. I just picked it up this um, uh, fall. Yeah, we went to Billings and got it. It had been there forever. It's funny how every one of them just gives out. This thing, I got the owner's manuals. I've shown it in my videos few times excursion if you're out of the country I'll make you a deal big old panel hook and all this factory stuff M16 holders in the back yeehaw and look at this where is the hang on there's your M16 holders and look at this 82.99 oh it's a five digit that's not the right mileage okay they never use these number one number two Brake wear. This thing is off of here a little bit, and I was going to fold it back on. You know how the back comes off the pedal? So, I'll get that on there. There we go. But there's no wear, man. No wear on this. No wear on that. None. No wear where your heel would go. None. Still got all them lines. This stuff would be rotted out of here if it was. 108. They have the, oh yeah, the door don't close. I forget every time. They have the blackout drive lights on them. And, you know, I don't know how that works, but I know it has something to do with this and the bumpers. It's in the front and the back. But I just wanted to show this little blazer, military cuck V. And wow, manual hubs. Very interesting. I did not. That has manual hubs also. That's been added on though, I think. That has good open so nice, man. Look at this, all the stickers still on everything, 24 volt. And I've shown this in my videos before. All the, yeehaw. Okay, that's the cuck V. Now onto your video. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is another walk around of another chunk of the lot. Yesterday we went over everything over here, all the way up to the Tempest Le Mans, 63 Five Club 326, baby. All the stinking Mercedes Benzes, the step side 396 Chevy, the 442. Whoop, whoop. And you know, I didn't show that truck there, but it's for sale. And you know, a lot of the stuff here runs good. Crazy. But a lot of stuff here runs good. Like this runs amazingly. This, we're going to cold start because I almost guarantee I can get this damn thing started up. So that's what I did yesterday. And here's what I'll be doing today is over here. So I'm telling you, 
check out that other video. You know, real quick, I want to tell you about something that I found really cool, really helpful. A Moraniv. Moraniv? Moraniv. I don't know how to say it, okay? It's from Stank Sweden. We don't get much stuff from Sweden up here, Friedrich. But Friedrich sent me one of these. And then I found them on Amazon. Now, they don't pay me to say something about this knife. But the way it clicks in here, hang on. The way it clicks in, watch, listen. It's just cool. It's very, very good steel. I love this knife. And not only that, I haven't figured out what this here part's for yet, but this part, you can clip it right on your sweats, man. Sweats, shorts, you name it, really cool. And I should tell you, if you wanna find it, even though they're not paying me to say this, click in the description below. The knife is on my little description, you can click it, and it goes to my Amazon influencer page. Now that's where I might make a nickel on you. If you buy it from someone else, who knows, it's just going right to Amazon. If you buy it from there, I make a nickel or something. $9.99, 10 bucks, can't go wrong. Guarantee you, it's the best knife you've ever owned or the first 10 people, I'll buy it from you for $9.99. Just send it on in. What I'm saying is you're gonna love it, so go to the description below, click it, and go buy it. Okay, I'm gonna get to the review. Okay, I pretty much stopped off at the wagon, and two of the really nice cars that maybe people won't think is so nice are right here. This is a nice car, and it's a V8, big old motor. It's not all messed up. It's not all rusted out and crappy. I mean, you can see here, even that. Still looks good. Even the inside of the panels, all the metal in this car is good. Um, it don't even leak a lot. And that's one bad thing about these. They leak like crazy because of the windows in the top. That's about the worst of the corrosion. The paint's just balling off. That's it. It's a nice car. 65 or so, Butte's, Butte Sport Wagon. This is probably the rarest car on this lot. And people could just drive by and look at this thing and be like, meh, you know, I can paint your junk. They should tell about your junk. You're never going to do nothing with that. Yeah? I almost sold this at one point. I'm glad I didn't. Um, the paint's bad. Just straight up, it's flaking right off. And falling off. There ain't no Bondo under. Nothing like that. But this is a 1976 50th anniversary Pontiac Trans Am. And the 50th anniversary, they were all supposed to come with T-tops. So it's a Y84, Y82, I don't know. Hey, now. Don't be closing. And it's actually pretty clean inside. Um, love that four-speed setup. But this is the last year for the 455. And this is the first year for all the graphics and the birds all over the hood. Uh, screaming chicken and stuff, man. Cool car. Very rare. I think it's like one of 210. Not 100% sure. Um, I'd have to look that up again. It's been stinking, I don't know, 20 years I owned it. In fact, the thing with this car is when it's set here, all the paint looked like this. Look at the difference. And it's a clean car. Inside the fenders, nothing's all rusty. Came from California, brought it up with me. I mean, it's as clean as it gets, man. So if you're interested, you could call me. I do. No, this is the most expensive Trans Am you're going to buy out here. Um, this thing, people like this year and the taillights, the chrome bumper, etc., etc., etc. Paint's all bowling off of it. It's just a regular old Firebird. Um, I like pulling paint off, I guess. <laughs> Actually, I just want to see if there's Bondo under it. And there's not. It's a clean little body. Um, not even a motor in it. But it's not all rusted out. It's obviously got its challenges here because there is filler on the hood. Yeah, you can tell there's... Oh, they had a hood scoop type thing on it. They punched it in there and pop riveted it on. This would make a nice, um, I don't know, race car. That front end is what people love though. And the thing is, it's parts cars. But the front urethane and the baskets for them, they're worth big money. Um, Whatever. Somebody even cut a sunroof in it. Who does that? I don't know. Not this guy. But yeah, it's a little ate up. You might need a quarter panel here. I think I'd cut one in for sure. 
But clean car, no. Lots of parts here, yes. Yeah, you're gonna have to weld that whole panel in there. Just put a new quarter, be easier. Quarter skin's really easy to do on these. I've done quite a few. This truck is rare because of what it is. It's the rose pink or whatever um, F-150 flare side. Flare side. And we can't get it to run. It's got like 130 on it. It's a good truck. We replace the distributor. We replace everything on this thing. It has anything to do with firing. And we can't get it to spark. Cannot get it to spark. No way, shape, or form. And I wanted to drive this bad boy around. But that ain't going to happen because we can't get it to spark. You want to buy it? I'll make you a deal. Special edition. Supposed to be black, I believe. It's a 79. Um, but this one is a turbo Trans Am. And it has the 301 turbo in it. And you can see it's got the turbo hood. It's a clean car. Obviously, we got yucky seat and the t-top is leaking right here guaranteed because that's got some meal deal on it Mo, the moss growing on that there seat but it, it is what it is man it's a straight rust free california car and i'll tell you what looks like they did a little bit of bondo there stuff's coming off anyways it's falling off so, it is a clean Trans Am. Now, this bad boy. You've seen it at the beginning of the video because I'm stopping right now to make the part for the beginning of the video. The Bustleback Elegante. Yep, I like it. I like this car. And you don't find an Elegante. The Elegantes are Raragante. And my roof, after it rolled off of this thing, I realized that my roof is Elegante. <laughs> Elegante. I like that. Look at the holes, man. Oh my God, it's awful. But this car, I'm not going to open the doors and stuff because I've got the tarp. <laughs> That's not doing nothing on top of it. All this plastic rots out in these. But I'm here to tell you from the special wheels to the special Vogue top and everything and the grill, the Elegante was the way to go. If I'm not mistaken, that's like a factory Rolls Royce grill. So one day I may fix this up, but I got to get something done with that top to where it doesn't just like eat it out and get it covered up here in the next, before I get a lot of snow. The W30 Olds G-Body, babe. Woo ha! Cool little car, chrome bumper. Like I said, W30 and the cool wheels. It's probably one of my favorite G-Body cars because, man, it just looks like a damn Monte Carlo. It's just, it's cool. Hurst Olds. And this car would be onto a, a full restoration type of thing. There's nothing super, super clean about these. Now, that's pretty clean. Definitely pretty clean. And I actually have a video of this on the channel. You should probably check it out. It's the Cosworth... Uh, 16 valve four cylinder cool car this if you're out of the country I can sell it to you I cannot sell this car in the United States of America it also is a government truck like that the blazers used to come sometimes and you couldn't sell them out of the country this comes and I can't sell it in the country I knew it though Lily did this I said Lily you did something to one of my trucks get out here and what did I do Look, I think she did this too Jeez, man. Stinking kids, I tell ya. Okay. Well, the Excursion is a full review on my channel. And if you're interested in one, you should check this one out if you're out of the country. I just put brand new tires on it, man. This thing's not for sale. We just bulletproofed it. No need to sell it now. This thing is going to run forever now. EGR delete and new stinking injectors and everything. So, yeehaw! Put the live wire programmer in it and all that. This thing is perhaps exactly what someone's looking for. It's a half ton, it's a two wheel drive, it's a short bed. And I'm here to tell you, original paint that will buff out. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't want to because you'd want to paint it, but watch this. It's 
crazy, man. It's crazy how shiny it gets so quick. But no real rust. It was a Missoula City Parks truck. It's really clean. Straight six motor and straight body. Not rusty. A couple dings here and there from some city employee running them into stuff. But as you can see, it's not all rusted out or nothing. It's all these parts, are little bubbles right there. That's a road bubble. That's a little rust bubble starting. But nothing's through. Clean as can be. Of course, it's and a dent. There's a scuff right there, a dent right here. But they didn't get that part somehow. Dent right there. Missed the light somehow. You know what I mean? Straight truck. Straight truck. That's been babied at the parks. This was my trash truck for a while before I upgraded to a trash trailer. Couldn't find it. This truck, I'm telling you, you can't see the miles. They were hardly any. I don't remember how many miles. And I know for a fact that this thing ain't got no miles. Um, look at that. And I haven't even detailed it, but I'm here to tell you it's got almost... Huh, what have I got over there? Oh, the diving instruction thing. It's got no miles. Low, low miles. I think it was like 20,000 or something. I don't remember. I'd have to look at what I've got. But it's clean, it's straight. If you're looking for something to restore, it was Missoula Parks and Recreation. So it was all handled by them. And if you're looking for one of these, you should stop it. You should call me and buy this one. 406-546-8748. This thing's cool. I'm just using it for storage, man. If you want to deal on something that's got stinking almost brand new tires on it, runs like a raped ape, and has plenty of storage, but it's rusty on the sides. This one's rusty. It's got some rust in the sides. You could make it presentable, but I don't know that you'd want to. This car right here, it's not a car, but this thing right here, I'd take, um, oh, 1,600 bucks, and I'll tell you what, if you're close, come get it store your stuff take a little bit of patch in if you really want to make it look nice though um, there is a full review of this on my channel okay we've looked at all this stuff that's the sierra classic over there it's sold so no reason to really show much of it nice truck for sure um and yeah full review of that on my channel if you want to see it we're going to do a video on this forklift where we it's got seized motor so we're going to dump xylene and antifreeze not xylene, antifreeze xylene and um automatic transmission fluid and marble mystery oil in it okay these trans ams are going to be in this thing and then i'm going to stop actually i'm just going to show you the one on the end and i'm going to tell you that hey look i've got a bunch of them i got a bunch more over there that i did yesterday and i got a bunch more stuff over here that i'll show tomorrow but this one is a nice 78 i think it's an se um, could be a 77. It's 400 and T-top, Fisher. And there's a difference. The Hursts are more desirable to some people. Clean inside, but obviously it's not restored or nothing. The dash is pretty straight. It's a clean car, and if you're interested in it, oh no. There we go. These doors sag. Speaking of sag, if you want to see a Trans Am that has no door sag whatsoever, look up my 89 GTA on my channel here, or go to my website, oneownercarguy.com. 28,000 original mile, patina all over the hood and stuff, but the doors don't even sag. And every Trans Am, the doors sag. I used to have 108 of these cars. 108 or 118, I forgot. That's at one time. That was while buying and selling. But this is a clean car. It's not all rusty. Um, if you're looking for something, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them. They did this though. I don't know why somebody would try and encase that in. It's not how it's supposed to be. Um, and there's a little stuff to take out dings on it. But there's no real... See, there's like that, little bits. I see he was trying to... I don't know what the hell he was thinking doing this. That's just dumb. But hey, it is what it is. The body's straight, the body's clean. Teeny little bit of speck of rust there. And he... <laughs> yeah, that's right. He put these in here too. Just a little different, for sure. Which is gonna cost somebody restoring it right to get a brand new one, because it looks like he trimmed it up before he put it on. Kind of a bummer, actually. No, he just built this up, it might be okay. 
whatever it is what it is cool car eights on the back sevens on the front okay we'll have to walk around i'll do the mustang and a lot of other stuff tomorrow um thanks for watching uh have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are i've got hey a lot of stuff to keep going my camera keeps overheating i've had to shut it off like six times so i'll get the rest tomorrow looking back in the videos and check out the one from yesterday and you'll see all the stuff over here including the brickland and all kinds of cool stuff i think rich is coming out tomorrow this weekend and i think i'd leave it at some point but god i don't know when so that's this special video saturday this video on friday hope you enjoy we'll talk to you tomorrow